Hello, this is Paige Evans, and today I want to share how I created this die cut and watercolor technique for the page that I made for the Pink Paisley blog using the Citrus Bliss collection. So I started with a light craft cardstock background, and I poured some white acrylic paint across the background, and I'm just spreading it around with a large paintbrush. And it's nice because this paint dries pretty fast, but I'm kind of impatient, and when I say kind of, I mean like super. So I used a hair dryer to speed up the drying process even more. So I'm just spreading the paint around. There's really no rhyme or reason, just trying to go back and forth, I guess, horizontally, almost to the edges, but not quite. So yes, using the hair dryer to dry it all up. And then I, I have this pre-cut already because it was a product in one of the Dear Lizzie collections, but it is available in the Silhouette uh, design store. So you can die cut this floral background from scratch cardstock and use it as a stencil. That's essentially what I'm doing is using it as a stencil. So I'm using watercolors and just picking up some paint and painting over the stencil. It's pretty easy. There's really no way that you can go wrong. I'm just trying to spread out the colors rainbow style and when I created the layout I used colors found in the Citrus Bliss collection. So here I'm kind of sticking to those same colors, but I'm also making them a little bit more vibrant and colorful. And so um, I'm trying not to use as much watercolor as I would if I was watercoloring on, say, watercolor paper. But the more color you pick up, the brighter the colors are going to be. And if you know anything about my love of colors, you'll understand that I love the bright colors. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to add in some brighter pinks and blues and then finish it up. And once you have it pretty much covered, then you gently lift it off, which I will do momentarily. Ta-da! Again, I used a hair dryer to make it dry and then I embellished with photos and other things from the Citrus Bliss collection. So I would love to see if you give this technique a try and thank you so much for watching.